Well, we're uh, still enjoy enjoying these uh, fall-like temperatures mm -hmm. around here. But I, I kind of jumped ahead and looked at your forecast. Next week, you go right back to summer. Yeah. For, for you, it's going like to be perfect. It. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, we're celebrating National Coffee yes, Day today. Are. Matt's going to be around to kind of walk us through this uh, big day for all of us. But first, let's walk you through rain because this huge area of low pressure, do you see this swirl? If I were teaching a meteorology class, this is how I would describe an area of low pressure because you've got this counterclockwise circulation of air. That is a perfect uh, loop, and it's looping right into Indiana. So we say good morning to all of you in Montgomery County, near Greencastle, around Rochdale. Uh, we're getting some rain in Putnam County and then over towards Rockville and Raccoon Lake. Let me zoom in here. So all of the towns with the covered bridges uh, getting wet today, including Meccan, Montezuma, and Mansfield. Uh, to our north, there was a little bit of rain near Kokomo, and there is right now near Monticello in Indiana Beach. Then to the south, a little bit of light rain south of Bloomington. I think this is just going to increase during the course of the day. We're going to be hanging in the 60s again with an eventual high. Let me move out of the way there so you can see it's 66 uh, later on today. In the meantime, 56 in Indian Shelbyville now, and the winds are out of the north at 5. So it's pretty dry here in Indy, but that's going to change as this rain gradually moves in our direction. And it is absolutely a fall weather pattern that we're in. In fact, a pattern very akin to what we would get near Oh, the middle of October or towards Halloween. That's what we're experiencing now. And as Julia mentioned, we're going to see some changes coming up next week. Now, we continue to see these temperatures drop here, 56. Notice to our north in the 40s in Minnesota. And we're picking up this northerly breeze around that area of low pressure. So it's a pretty cool morning. And as we put our future track in motion, yesterday, I do need to, to, to be transparent with you. These models did not have nearly as much rain as we got, and I think the same could occur today. Scattered showers during the day uh, with a couple of heavy downpours. This is tonight at 11.30. Again, as long as this low is under our sphere of influence, and it will be because it's going to back up a bit, that means that we're going to have these scattered showers. This is tomorrow during the morning rush hour when it will be wet, and that will continue into 9.30, 10 o'clock on Friday. I still think that because of the movement of this low on Saturday, here we are at 8.30 in the morning. We are still going to have rain to start out the weekend, though it will be gone by Sunday. So let's break everything down for you. 66 today, cloudy with a northeasterly breeze gusting at times to 15 or maybe even more than that. 66 tomorrow and 67 uh, as we move on into Sunday. We'll have much more on this seven-day outlook in a few minutes. Julia and Scott.